Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a consultant ENT surgeon at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. A child with recurrent ear discharge uh, would mean there is a uh, hole in the eardrum. This is the most common interpretation uh, by us. Uh, there are other reasons why a child can have ear discharge, uh, like uh, infection of the skin of the uh, ear canal also can cause uh, discharge. And uh, this is generally picked up on clinical examination. Parents are usually given medication in the form of ear drops after culture and sensitivity tests and then they are given certain advices which are universal. We generally do not recommend anybody using buds in the ear to clean. Uh, we do not want anything uh, to go into the ear on the pretext of cleaning because the ear canal skin is very very uh, thin and fragile. So small scratches can lead to secondary infections and then cause problems which can be recurrent. So the simplest way you can actually prevent a child from having repeated infection is do not put anything in the ear. Now we are talking about another entity called as um, uh, otitis media uh, which can also cause repeated ear discharge. Now these children will typically uh, have had an episode of ear pain with a cold which uh, probably was attended to a little bit late than uh, necessary which would have then resulted in some amount of blood and um, pus like material flowing out of the ear and this would have resulted in a hole. Now if the eardrum has a hole, there is a good possibility that if the ear is kept dry uh, by medication as well as preventing water from entering into the ear, uh, it may heal on its own. But the children, they have a tendency to catch cold more frequently than adults. So every time the child catches a cold, there is a possibility of the middle ear also getting infected and then starting to ooze. And once it oozes, the discharge starts coming out of the hole again and the hole is never let to dry up. So we generally give time for uh, children to heal from a few months to a year or so. But if the child continues to get multiple episodes of uh, ear discharge, there is always a chance that it will interfere with the eardrum. It will also interfere with the ossicular chain, the chain which is uh, formed by bones and an occasional child can also have an inner ear infection which may render the child deaf. So to prevent these kind of infections from happening, uh, we recommend to remove the source of infection which would be the adenoids and tonsils which are the lymphoid tissues which catch hold of, of upper respiratory tract infections and then uh, from there the infection can spread into the ear. So the first step would be to take care of the adenoids and tonsils and then wait. And despite that if the ear discharge persists, then at an appropriate age, which is somewhere between six and eight years of age, we try to do a surgery to close the hole of the eardrum.